Good morning, I'm meteorologist Bo Dotson. It is December 26, 2016. We've got a band of showers and thunderstorms moving through the area. Gusty winds as well, some gusts above 40 miles per hour over the last few hours, even some wind damage in Murray, Kentucky. Take a look at the wind gust map here and you see these numbers moving up and down over the morning hours. Quite a few gusts of 20 to 35 miles per hour. And again, some occasional gusts above 40 miles per hour. We also have a band of showers and thunderstorms spreading southwest to northeast through the area. Now, these storms are not moving much. They are moving northeast, but they're not sliding eastward. What that means is they're training over the same areas, and this is producing some very heavy rainfall totals, already one to two inches of rain across portions of this band. We'll switch over to rainfall total radar in a minute, but you see where the band extends here at about 10 o'clock in the morning. This band will slowly shift eastward through the day, but it may take quite a bit of time to actually make it into some of the West Kentucky counties, say Callaway County, up towards Madisonville. It will first enter our counties, Ballard, uh, down to Hickman and Fulton, and then move eastward. But it may be this afternoon before it pushes all the way into western Kentucky. And that's a concern because some flash flooding could occur if these storms continue to train over the same areas. We'll switch over to the Paducah, Kentucky National Weather Service radar and you can get a little bit better view of these showers and thunderstorms. Quite a bit of lightning being reported. Let's just switch on the lightning data. Lots of lightning and thunder in that band as well. It certainly does not feel like winter. Temperatures in the upper 60s and lower 70s today. Feels more like spring outside. Now you can see what I meant by these storms training repeatedly over the same areas. 1.75 inches of rain reported just southeast of Marion, Illinois over the past hour. And you can see these storms, they just continue to move over the same area. So we are going to have heavy rain today once the band reaches your area. Now you can see back here in parts of southeast Missouri and southwest Illinois, not much activity. We may have a few more showers develop today, but this is the main band, the main show today ahead of that cold front that will move through our region later tonight. Let's switch over to radar estimated rainfall totals and I'll stop this loop. You can see here in the orange and yellow colors that's over one inch of precipitation. If we zoom in a little bit you'll even see some reds in there. You're getting into the two, two and a half inch range. And you can see how the band is oriented southwest to northeast. And again, this is what we call training cells, thunderstorms that repeatedly train over the same areas. This occurs when a front doesn't move much and the band just continues to rain over the same ground. Now this can lead to flash flooding, so avoid flooded roadways today. Would not be a bit surprised to hear about some water over the roadways, especially over southern Illinois and southeast Missouri this morning into early afternoon and perhaps later today also over Tennessee and Kentucky. At some point the front will actually start to move a little faster and push everything out of here this evening and tonight but it certainly is taking its time this morning. Take a quick look at the HER model. This is a high resolution model. It does fairly well in these types of setups. We'll just move through the morning hours. Here's your time stamp. We'll start off at 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m., the noon hour. Notice what's happening. These storms are not moving. Again, training over the same areas, and that's a concern for flash flooding. Move through this afternoon, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. This front has made almost no advancement to the east, and again, this probably means heavy rainfall totals over parts of southeast Missouri and Illinois, eventually into Kentucky and Tennessee, but it sure does take its sweet time to get into Kentucky and Tennessee. Four o'clock, five o'clock, now you see that shift. The front starts to accelerate a little bit once we get into the four and five o'clock hour, and it does push eastward. We'll see how well this model does today time frame could be off an hour or so, but we'll keep an eye on it again. Slow movement, that's the main theme for this line of showers and thunderstorms. Moving to the six o'clock hour, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, and then 10 p.m. tonight, you see the front is definitely sliding off to the south and east as we move into the early morning hours on Tuesday. Stop here at 1 a.m. All of the precipitation should be to our east by then, ending last, of course, over the Penny Rile area of western Kentucky as the front pushes off to the west. Take a look at precipitation totals from the HER model. We'll just move through this afternoon and into the evening hours, 10 a.m., 11, 12. And again, notice what's happening. Very little movement of the front, and this is causing some heavy rainfall totals. We'll look down here for your scale, and you're getting to the reds. You're looking at two to three inches, and once you get into the pink colors and yellow, three and a half, 
maybe four inches of rain. We'll see how much falls. It definitely appears we're going to have some heavy rainfall totals in the area today into this afternoon. Moving to the evening hour, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and 11 o'clock, and you see how the rain does spread eastward. So it appears that the best chance for flash flooding today, heavy rainfall totals, parts of northeast Arkansas into southeast Missouri and then into southern Illinois, again, where the rain is currently occurring, and then a county or so to the east as well. These are model projections, so keep that in mind. Models can be off an hour or two, but you get the general idea today. Some flash flooding possible. And again, I can't rule out a few strong, maybe severe thunderstorms. So monitoring watches or warnings, they might have to be issued.